Hello. I... No, that's... How do you... You do something 99 times, and you kind of forget how it's done. Um, help, please. Welcome to the home for anime. 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 This is Amanda from Sugar Bubba's, and welcome to the home for anime. Welcome to the home for anime. Hey, welcome to the home for anime. 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 Hey, y'all, it's T-Tom, a.k.a. Tyree, and welcome to the home for anime with your boy Cam Allison. Hello. Welcome to the home for anime. What's going on? It's your boy, Matty Ice. And y'all are tuned in and listening to The Home for Anime by my brother, the one and only Cameron Alpha Go Allison. Y'all tune in, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to The Home for Anime. I'm just a girl. Bienvenidos, amigos, a la casa de anime. Welcome to the home that my baby built. The home for anime. Love you, son. Wow, all those people, and this home still has so much room. I love it. Uh, I I think I've got it now, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to the 100th episode of The Home for Anime. I am your host, GPC, great podcaster, Callie. And given what we just heard... I, I have an idea of what to talk about now, finally. Based on what just happened, I realize that it is time for a homie check-in. And it's on one of my favorite anime that I've been looking for an excuse to talk about. <laughs> but this was just, this was perfect. What better way to celebrate 100 episodes than to talk about one of your favorites uh not violet evergarden that's coming soon uh well relatively soon because we're almost done with the celebration of kyoto animation but you ever heard of barakamon because it's pretty great why is barakamon great and why am i choosing it for this 100th episode well, that's because Barakamon deals with community and growth. And that's what I want to talk about today is community and growth. So Barakamon revolves around this young man who is a calligrapher named Honda, who is very hot-headed, and he gets into a bit of a scuffle with someone who critiques his work, and as a result of that, he is exiled to this island, uh, what some people would consider southern, which if you watch it on Crunchyroll, you'll see that they have these kind of southern dialect accents, whatever you'd like to call them. And it's there where he just meets a cavalcade of colorful characters including one of the cutest characters ever put to screen and i will say even cuter than boji and anya combined and that is naru naru is the best funny adorable anime character ever and i stand by that but this little girl in this community they just have this way of welcoming Honda into their community. They make him a teacher. They do things like cook for him when they know that he doesn't have the resources to do so. They, they just are so hospitable, not because, oh, we are trying to cater to you, not because we're afraid of you because they're not. They just think he's a city boy who needs some Southern hospitality, some Southern loving, and that's basically what they do. And as they do that, 
little by little, Honda's hard shell starts to crack, and it becomes less about his artistic journey and more about his personal journey and how he goes from being this mean guy to a kind of stern but also extremely loving and caring individual who thinks the world of the people who he shares this island with these people in his community. It's so straightforward, and you would think, oh, well, it's probably littered with spoilers, so of course Cameron's not going to do anything that will give anything away. And, you know, it's so straightforward. Um, There are light spoilers, but it's it's very much run-of-the-mill. Everything that you would expect, maybe some things that you wouldn't, But overall, I would say, even above Eurocamp and Aria, this is probably my life-defining Iyashike anime. And that's because it really hits home close to me. So while I could easily give you several instances of things that happen in this anime... I would strongly recommend you just go in and enjoy 12 episodes of a masterpiece. Just unwind, relax, let yourself be free and calmed, and take a minute just to appreciate the people in your lives, because... As I said, this show is really all about community, and community is what makes the home for anime the home for anime. When I first started this podcast in the midst of the pandemic, I didn't know that it would run for this long. I didn't know who I was going to meet. I didn't know what a hundred episodes of the Home for Anime was going to look like. I didn't know who I would have featured or anything of the sort. And I really didn't know that I was going to make the amazing friends that I made. I feel... Not so much powerful, but empowered by having done this show. Because the people who you heard say, Welcome to the Home for Anime, are some of the most important people in my life now. You heard Erica say, Welcome to the Home for Anime. Erica is the first person to ever tell me I absolutely adore you. That, I realize, at 25 years old, is the best thing that you could possibly say to me. And I knew that it came from a place of love and admiration. She admitted, like, yeah, I I love the podcast. Uh, The more that I talk to you, I can tell you I absolutely adore you. I wouldn't have gotten that without the podcast. Erica became part of my community. Franco, he is the funniest person that I know. And he knows his anime. Franco was able to get me through clan ad. Franco has seen me through some hard times. I've seen him through some hard times and through anime and comedy and just being able to be real with each other, we have grown together and he just, he's one of the people who was like, you could really make this into something big and don't worry, Franco, I will. 
GTW, having her on episodes, especially that birthday episode that was so cute. I didn't know that I would ever have international friends, but she is the kindest individual and the epitome of the internet's big sister. We all love her. She's great. Of course, you know, Drew and Ryan and Tyree, they're just, they're my youth. Matt, day one, those guys have seen me through so much and they've always been kind, always been supportive, always been loving. Sugar Bubba's, I didn't know that I would be able to meet such adorable people with adorable CEOs. Their talent has just grown as mine has. And they just keep saying, we love you. And you're going to do great things. And they're doing great things. I've had so many people see me through so many things. Chica saw me through unemployment. Chica saw me through when I was having a really hard time with my job when I was settling in. And she was just a true champion, just always there to talk to me and say, oh, they shouldn't treat you that way. Or this is how you stand up for yourself. And I, I'm succeeding now because I had that support from her. Maddie, I've known Maddie for years. Maddie has just been my my guru of sorts. We always joke around that we have a father-son dynamic, but Maddie is just, just a ton of fun and the ultimate dose of realism that you could ever hope for. She will tell you everything as it is, and she's not afraid to ask for advice. She, everyone, all thought that this was a good idea. They thought this was the way to come out of my shell. What do I even have to say about Tommy as lover other than the fact that he's just the coolest dude around? Like, what, what, where did you come from, and why are you so amazing? Like, seeing you go from a manga page to... A, to a sticker man, to a pin man, to a shirt man. I mean, you're just, you're the best. Laura? If GTW is the internet's big sister, Laura is the internet's auntie in the anime community. She is so great. She has this life experience that she is more than happy to pass down to you, but she will not treat you like you are less than. She will always treat you with care. And no matter what, you are her dude. Doesn't matter who you are. Catherine is somebody who is not afraid to share her struggles. And she's not afraid to find a way to look past them. And the way we met just bonding over t-shirts and then her saying wow you have a podcast that's that's cool let's talk more that meant a lot to me Catherine was actually one of my first real internet friends and i remember the first time we got to speak with each other on the phone it was so cool because i'm like wow this is what it's like to have an online friend that you like actually talk to same for Miles. I didn't know much about Discord until I joined the Violet Evergarden Discord and I met him and he was just so nice. It was like, you, they always say don't trust strangers on the internet always, but I've been so fortunate that I've been able to. And Robert is the epitome of what a comedian is. Should be. I wish he would do stand-up comedy. He makes some of the most out-of-pocket jokes I have ever heard. Truly, truly. 
if there was something above comedy, if there was something above laughing until you throw up, fart, go to tears, that's him. Nobody will ever make me laugh as much as Robert does. And I do just want to backtrack a little bit. Um, I've told you my history is with a lot of them, but I don't think I've ever told you my history with Drew. We met at school, of course, and he has been adamant about me sticking with this project, not to the detriment of my health, but he is the best podcasting partner I could ever ask for. He's always willing to experiment on projects with me. He's willing to try new things, and he's just, he's always amazing to record with. I will legit, I'm so glad that we're still friends to this day, because we will actively have four-hour conversations just about so many things, and he's great. And, of course, my mom. All I can say is my mom is awesome. My mom is the best mom. My mom is better than your mom. Uh, that's just a fact. I'm sorry to tell you. And that's just the people who spoke on this episode. There are so many more people who have been extremely supportive of what I've done. And thanks to all of them, thanks to the home for anime, I've found my community. I have found a place where I belong. I was always insecure about who I was, what I was capable of doing. I had never really had any clear direction. And like Honda, it just, I was, it was eating me alive thinking, oh, well, if I do this, you know, I'll be amazing at it and then I'll find my way. And it just never happened. And even if he isn't his worst critic at the beginning, I was always my worst critic. Until I made this podcast and just kept working and working and meeting new people consistently and having them urge me to learn and grow not only in the anime scope, but also personally just giving me so many pieces of advice how to enter the workforce how to struggle with depression anxiety how to get back into society after leaving it for so long they're the reason that i don't feel bad about having released over 40 episodes in 2022 and not having released nearly that many in 2023 because they've taught me how to take care of myself. They say that it takes a village to raise a child, but I think it just takes a village to support one person and then another and another. We're all there for each other. And I really didn't get it until I saw Barakamon. Having that he just like me for real energy has never hit me more than when I saw Honda over the course of those 12 episodes. Because as I'm seeing him develop, I realized I've been developing, I'm still developing. I'm still forging new relationships and strengthening the ones that I have. And because of that, because of you all, I feel like I am finally the best version of myself that I can be at this stage of my life. And it feels amazing. Community, I'm not just talking about neighborhood. 
I'm not just talking about people who are immediately in your presence. People from all over. There will be people who will love you, who will care about you, and that will just make your life feel like it's closer to being fulfilled, closer to completion than you ever could have gotten alone. This is just my story. But I want you to know that between these people, everyone else who has supported me, like Big S, Jose, Selena, et cetera, et cetera, the list goes on. We make each other better. That's what community does. That is what Barack Amon showed me. And... I am just so, I'm so happy and honored and blessed to have made my community, to have my little family, to have a place where I belong in my, no, in our anime home and I just hope that it keeps growing so take a page from Honda's book take a page from my book and just remember it doesn't matter how long it takes you will find people that care about you that love you that will be there for you and yeah it, it feels good. It feels great to be alive right now. And thanks to these people, I can honestly say that I mean that now. Keep pushing. And I hope that more people come along for this journey. And that this house just keeps getting fuller and fuller and fuller. We have plenty of room. So come on in. Once again, welcome to the home for anime. And from now into the foreseeable future, I am GPC. Great podcaster, Callie. And with that being said, if you want to follow me, you can do so on Instagram at Anime Alpha Goat. If you want to email me recommendations, you can do so at ouranimehome at gmail.com. And also, if you want to join the Discord server, you are more than welcome to join the Discord server. Thank you for making a home out of a cell phone, a microphone, and a computer. Thank you for bonding with me over life and anime. And I will see you in episode 101. All right. Bye.